what up and welcome back to my channel so today we're making a chocolate oreo cheesecake okay let's get into it so first get you some oreos okay get you some oreos now i don't usually finish a bag like we don't usually finish a bag in the house so i used, ended up having to take these to work but i did use quite a bit of oreos so it ain't go to waste but let's get into it so first i'm gonna start off by scraping the cream out the oreos scraping it off this is my first time making a cheesecake like this too so well this was my first time making a cheesecake but you know let's like i said scrape the cream out of the oreos like this just use whatever you got to but this is what i'm using and just scrape it out scrape it out and put it in the food processor we're getting a nice fine we want them fine we want a nice fine chop i guess to these oreos because this is basically these are gonna be my crust like how you would normally use graham crackers we use oreos okay so we're just getting a nice little fine little i don't know the word for it, but we, we chopping them up as you can see they didn't fully grate or fine each other <laughs> i don't know the word but it didn't i want it chopped up okay fine finely chopped like this mm-hmm mm -hmm. almost like a powder but like i said this is the crust so you're gonna see what i'm doing with it first off get you a bowl we're gonna pour the oreo crumbs inside of the bowl i melted about like maybe a full stick of butter and i just took my time with it so i did like maybe half of the butter just to see where we was at with it consistency wise because i want a wet sand consistency okay and when that i saw it the halfway i was like okay that's not enough so i'm pouring the rest so I, like i said maybe a full thing of butter if it dry out while you mixing it like this just go in and add some more butter just melt some more butter and add some more in because like i said we need wet sand a wet sand consistency that's what we're looking for so that's all i'm doing here mm -hmm. you see it's getting kind of a little wet looking mm-hmm that's that sand. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and get you a little, whatever you're using to bake this. And I just smooth it out. Now, I'm preheating my oven. And I preheated it to 330. I don't know why, but that's been my temperature lately when it, came, when it comes to baking. So I preheated it. And I never, I usually just put my crust in the freezer first. But I put it in the oven for a little bit like maybe 10 minutes and then it start rising so then i put it in the freezer so after i smoothed it out like this because your oven should be preheated on 330 i just went ahead and just toss it in there just i was just trying something different because i like if you can already tell you know i like to try different things a lot of stuff be like my first time doing it but i believe i can do anything i set my mind to just like you can if you got something you want to do just go out there and do it you can do anything you want to, just like I can. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to make the cheesecake. So now I could have just used two blocks of cream cheese, but I used three, three blocks of cream cheese because I ended up having a lot more left over and I, I didn't plan on making two pies. So use two blocks because I, I overdid it, but I should have. But you can always make like cheesecake bites with the leftovers if you like, because it will be a lot left over. So you can always make like cheesecake bites. Mm -hmm. that'll be tasty too so then i'm using some confectioner sugar mm -hmm. i'm eyeballing it so you can start off by like half a cup and see how you like it like taste wise or just leave it like that until you know we add everything else because when once you start adding everything else like the eggs and the sour cream the sweetness tends to kind of go away so keep that sugar on standby just keep it right there okay now i added a nice little scoop of sour cream like a nice maybe half a cup half a cup let's go with half a cup because you know i eyeball i eyeball this i eyeball this i'm just always gonna show you what i did okay i did a nice size spoonful of that then i added in my eggs one at a time now you with this add them first of all make sure they room temperature keep them out for a little bit just like your cream cheese room temperature but i added one egg i just added as i go you know when to add another egg when you don't see no more of the yolk. No more yellow. No more yellow. Okay. See, see how you see yellow right now? You're just going to keep doing it till you don't see no more yellow. Okay, guys? Super simple. You know? 
Super simple. It's super easy making a cheesecake anyway, but it's a chocolate cheesecake, so it's different. Okay. So then make sure you scrape the sides. Get all that extra gunk off the sides. I don't know what gunk is, but all that extra cheesecake off the sides. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add more egg. So all together, three eggs. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm going to add ingredients at the bottom. Don't even worry about all that. Just look at what I'm doing. And then make sure you just have all the ingredients that I put at the bottom. You know? Super simple. Super simple, guys. Okay. So we're just mixing the egg until I get the consistency that I like. Consistency is what I meant. And then at this point, taste it. If it's not sweet enough, add some more sugar. You can use confectioner sugar or you can use regular sugar. That's on you. I like confectioner sugars when it comes to cheesecakes and bacon. Like, that's just my personal preference. So you see I added more sugar? You might need to. Just make sure you taste it as you go. As you go. Because you can do that with anything, especially when it comes to food. I feel like cake batter. You ain't supposed to really do that. So now I have some milk chocolate chips. This is where the chocolate of the cheesecake is coming in. So we're melting it down. I got some boiling water and I got a heat safe dish on top of that. Melting them chocolate chips down and then you're going to add it to the cheesecake. Mm -hmm, just like this. Just adding it in. Just adding it in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're going to mix it up. Add it in, mix it up, mix it well, mix it well, mix it well. Until you get that, until it's brown, it's equally brown all over. Until this is a complete brown cheesecake batter. And this taste is so, oh my God, it tastes so good. Oh my gosh. You can do anything with the cheesecake, literally. Like, especially when it comes to chips. Like, you could put white chocolate chips, you could do peanut butter, any kind of chips. Just as long as you can melt it down, you can put it in there. But that same, same thing go with fruits, you know, cookies, all that. You could put anything in a cheesecake. You can make anything a crust. It's crazy. So then I I didn't really grate these. I just kind of smashed them. I just smashed up some. I just wanted them to still be chunky. So when biting the cheesecake, you get a nice chunk of Oreo. So that's all I did. I just added those in there. But then I saw that that wasn't really enough for me. Like, it, it really wasn't doing what I needed to be done. So, I just added some more, like this. I added some more until I could actually see the chunks. So, you don't want to... Because, like I said, my hand mixer here is one speed. So, I just got to be careful. Otherwise, it'll just... All the cookies will just be mashed. And I don't want that. I want it to be chunk. I want chunks, you know. You know, like this. I stopped when it looked like this. So you stop when it look like this, okay? So then we're going to go ahead and, like I said, I only baked it and I put it in the freezer. So I took it out of the freezer and we're adding the cheesecake. Because you see what I'm saying? This was too much, too much cheesecake in this. I be doing too much. That's on me. Because I really could have took some out, but it was still, it turned out, so, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Perfectly fine. It's got a nice shade to it. That chocolate busting. Them Oreos busting too. Now this part, it was kind of frustrating for me. Well, not really. But I wanted it to be pretty. But every I just after I just found myself just kind of doing this for a while. Because every time I kept looking, it just felt like it was another ruffle. <laughs> so then I'm putting this in a bacon. I put the cheesecake inside of a bacon dish and I added a few cups of water. Cause I'm gonna bake it with the water. Mm -hmm. Like I said, on 3:30, I baked it for like 20 to 25 minutes. When it's got a wiggle and it wiggle all together, cause you gotta do the shake method when it comes to a cheesecake. When it's wiggling all together, it's done. So then turn the heat off, turn the oven off, leave it in there, and crack the door for like 20 to 30 minutes until it's like cooled down. And then take it out of the oven, cool it down some more, and then you're done. You got an Oreo chocolate cheesecake. Just make sure you put it in the refrigerator after it's cooled down. So crack the dough, let it cool, then let it cool outside, and then let it cool in the refrigerator overnight. And then you're done. Perfect cheesecake. Go ahead and make it. Let me know if you do. Okay? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.